So you're ready to start sending promotional emails. Hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility and today I'm gonna to talk to you about four steps to send the perfect promotional email. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Item number one, you wanna define your customer define your goal, and then of course, define your promotion. What's really important with email is that you know your goal and your customer because there's a great chance that when you put together your promotion, you're going to be tailoring it differently to male, female, geography, etc. Especially if you have your database segmented in that way. So step number one is to define your promotion, but also keeping in mind your goal and your customer. It's important to keep in mind potential customers, they don't wanna spend a lot of time thinking about your offer. We wanna make it really easy for them to understand what's in the email. So don't complicate it by adding unnecessary steps. Make sure if you've got a discount, it's right there in front of them. Make it simple for them. Make a clear call to action. Make the value really, really clear within your promotion. And after your customer clicks on your email, they should be brought to a page that has the exact same messaging. It's called a call to action above the fold on mobile and desktop. And the messaging in the header of the page mirrors exactly what was in the email so they know if they're in the right place. Make it simple. Step two, you wanna make sure you're sending this to the right audience. There's really nothing worse than crafting the perfect copy and images only to deliver it to the wrong audience. You wanna be actively cleaning up your list, remove inactive, users, unsubscribe contacts, any hard bounced email addresses, that's gonna improve your deliverability and your engagement rate. You really have to be consistently cleaning up your list. Once you clean up your list, it's time to segment it by engagement level. Not every email address on your list is gonna engage with you at the same rate. Some are gonna open your email every once in a while, some are never gonna open your email, so you're gonna to wanna to segment that out. Anyone who hasn't engaged or opened your emails within the last 180 days should be run through an automated re-engagement campaign. This is gonna help you to win back some of your dying email addresses. Okay, so we know our goal, we know our customer, we know our promotion, we've cleaned up our list. What do we do next? Perhaps one of the most important things, an intriguing subject line. Limited time offer, one-time discount, announcement, attention, notice. 50% off, deal of a lifetime. You get it, right? You wanna have something in there that's gonna make them open. You need those high open rates, otherwise this is all worthless. Motivate them to open the email and find out the answer. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your email is mobile friendly. I can't tell you how many times I see non-mobile friendly emails being sent out. Make sure you have a clear call to action. And just like on a web page, with emails, I like to use the seven second test. It's a little bit different with email, but the gist is within seven seconds, they should know exactly who you are, what you're offering, why it's so great, and the action that they should take. If that's not really clear and you're sending out an email with a lot of text and a lot of different images, you're not gonna have a lot of success. Pro tip, recently we've been seeing in some cases just plain, simple text emails have been doing really, really well. In some cases actually beating out the designed emails. Make sure you're testing both. Step number four, always be testing. You don't wanna keep putting in the work for something that isn't delivering results. That's why it's important to track how your promotional email is working. To do this, you wanna make sure engagement tracking is enabled. This will track your open and click-through rates, and you can do this through native email service providers or third-party analytics tools such as Google Analytics. But no matter how experienced you are, there's actually always room for improvement. That's why A-B tests are critical. You wanna split test your audiences, split test your subject lines, split test your calls to actions, your send times, your promotions, and you want to see which resonates the most with your audience and in turn drives more results. Once you're getting some wins, you're obviously going to want to do more of that. Email marketing is the number one channel for mature businesses. Why? Because they have built up such a big database. Also with cookies going away and with a bigger focus on targeting specific first party data, emails are critical for paid media as well. Take the time to segment your list, put together great promotional emails. Over time, as that list grows, it's really gonna pay off. If you have any questions, leave it below. I'll be happy to answer. I'll see you next time. Bye.